Good morning, children. We are once again back in a lecture video. I am Ahind Kumar, faculty of Mount Rutra Z School for Accounts and English PGT. Students, in a today's lecture video, we are going to continue the same chapter. That is chapter eleven of your book, first slide, and the name of the chapter is the proposal. And we'll find out what happens further in the story. Okay. So. Natalia, when they were arguing about the land, Natalia was saying auction meadows belongs to them. Lomo was saying auction meadows belong to him. Okay. No, it isn't at all like that. Both grandfather and grandfather's great grandfather reckoned that the land extended to Burnt Marsh, which means that auction meadows were ours. I don't see what there is to argue about. It's simply silly. Lomo says, "I'll show you the documents." Natalia asks, "Fine, Lomo. No, you are simply joking and making fun of me. What a surprise! We've had the land for nearly three hundred years, and then we are suddenly told that it isn't ours." Ivan Veselvich, "I can hardly believe my own ears. These meadows aren't worth much to me. They only come to five destines and are worth for us three hundred rubles. But can't, but I can't." Stand unfairness. Say what you will. Any whatever you want to say, you can say. But this, I can't stand unfairness. Lomo says, "Hear me out. I implore your, I implore you, the presence of your father, grandfather, father's grandfather, as I have already had the honor of explaining to you, used to bake bricks for my aunt, aunt's grandmother. Now my aunt's grandmother wishing to make them a pleasant." So Natalia says, "I can't make head or tail of all this about aunts and grandfathers and grandmothers. The meadows are ours, that's all." Lomo says, "It's mine." Natalia says, "Ours. You can go on proving it for two days and on end. You can go and put on fifteen dress jackets, but I'll tell you, they are ours, ours, ours. I don't want anything of yours, and I don't want to give anything of mine. So there." Lomo says, "Natalia, Stefan, Vuna, I don't want the meadows." But I am acting on principle. If you like, I'll make you a present of them. <coughs> Natalia says I can make you a present of them myself because they are mine. Your behavior, I have in Vissel, which is strange to the, to say the least. Up to this, we have always thought of you as a good neighbor, a friend. Last year, we lent you a threshing machine, although. on that account we had to put off our own threshing till november but you have but you behave to us as if we were gypsies giving me my own land indeed no really that's not at all neighborly in my opinion it's even impudent if you want to no to the lomo says then you make out that i am a land grabber land grabber madam never in my life i have grabbed anybody else's land and i shan't allow anybody to accuse me of having done so quickly step out to the calf calf ridge and drink some water now auction meadows are mine natalia it's not true they are ours mine natalia it's not true i'll prove it i'll send my mowers out there out to the meadows this very day lomo what my mowers will be there this very day lomo i'll give it to them in the neck Natalia, you dare? Lomo clutches at his heart. Auction meadows are mine. You understand mine. Natalia, please don't shout. You can shout yourself hoarse in your own house. But here, I must ask you to restrain yourself. Lomo, if it if it wasn't, madam, for this awful, excruciating palpitation, if my whole inside wasn't upset, I'd talk to you in a different way. Means, if I don't have any pain, then I would talk to you in a different way. Yell. Auction meadows are mine. Natalia asks. Lomo again says, "Mine." Natalia says, "Ours." Lomo again says, "Mine." And Tchubukov, what's the matter? What are you shouting for? Papa, please tell the gentleman who owns Oxen Meadows. We or he? Tchubukov, to Lomo, darling, the meadows are ours. Then Lomo says, "But please, Stefan Stefanovich, how can they be yours? Be a reasonable man. My aunt's grandmother gave the meadows for the temporary and free use of your grandfather's peasants." The peasants used the land for forty years and got accustomed to it as if it was their own. When did that happen? 
when it happened that you go excuse me my precious you forgot just this that the peasants didn't pay your grandmother and all that because the meadows were in dispute and so on and now everybody knows that they are ours it means that you haven't seen the plan lo mobile proof to you that they are mine chubuko you won't prove it my darling i shall lo mo says i shall prove chubuko dear one why yell like that you won't prove anything just by yelling i don't want anything of yours and don't intend to give what i have what what i have why should i and you know my beloved that if you propose to go on arguing about it it i'd much sooner give up the meadows to the peasants than to you there he saying instead of giving the meadows to you i would be giving the meadows to the peasants who said to go now lomo said i don't understand how have you the right to give away somebody else's property chubuko you may take it that i know whether i have the right or not because young man i am not used to be spoken to in such that tone of voice and so on i young man am twice your age and ask you to speak to me without agitating yourself means first you should show some respect and talk in a very decent manner and all that lomo says no you just think i am a fool and want to have me on you call my land yours and then you want me to talk to you calmly and politely good neighbors don't behave like that stefans fanovic you are not you are not a neighbor you are a land grabber chubuko what's that what did you say natalia papa sent the mowers out to the meadows at once natalia chubuko what did you say sir natalia oxen meadows ours and i shan't give them up shan't give them up shan't give them up no more we'll see i'll have the matter taken to the court and then i'll show you chubuko to court you can take it to court and all that you can i know you you are just on the look out for a chance to go to the court and all that you petty fogger all your people were like that all of them the lomov says never mind about my people the lomovs have all been honorable people and not one has ever been tried for embezzlement like your grandfather chubukov you lomov have the lunacy in your family all of you natalia all 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 chubukov your grandfather was a drunkard and your aunt younger aunt natsha ran away with an architect and so on Lomo, when your mother was humped back, and he clutches at his heart, something's pulling in my side, my head. Help, water, Chubuko. Your father was a guzzling gambler, Natalia. And then there haven't been many backbiters to equal your aunt, Chubuko. My left foot has gone to sleep. You are an intriguer, oh my heart. And it's an open secret that before the land election, last election, you break. I can see this. I can see stars. Where's my hat? Natalia, it's low. It's dishonest. It's mean. Chubuko, when you are just a malicious double-faced intriguer, yes. Chubumulomo says, "Here's my hat. My heart, which way? Where's the door? Oh, I think I'm dying. My foot's go quite numb. Goes to the door. Chubuko, following him, and does don't set foot in my house again. अपने पैर दोबारा मेरे घर में मत रखना. Natalia, take it to the court. We'll see. Lomo staggers out. Chubukov, devil take him. Walks about in excitement. Natalia, what a rascal! What trust can one have in one's neighbors after that? Chubukov, the villain, the scrapo. Natalia, the monster. First he takes our land, then he has the impudence to abuse us. Chubukov, and that blind hen. Yes, that turnip ghost had the confounded cheek to make. a proposal and so on what a proposal now since he was very very angry so first he was praising him like my darling my uh, precious these words were used by chubuko we can see but now since he talked about his land so now chubuko was abusing him so natalia asking what proposal he brought what proposal chubuko why he came here to propose to you natalia to propose to me why didn't you tell me so before Chubukov. So he dressed up in the evening clothes, the stuffed sausage, the wizen face frump. So again, he abuses him. Natalia, to propose me? Ah, falls into an easy chair and wails, and she started crying. Bring him back, bring him back, back, back. Ah, bring him here. Chubukov, bring whom here? Natalia, quick, quick. I am ill. Fetch him. Hysterics. Now Chubukov says, "What's that?" What's the matter with you? 
will continue children in the next class thank you